So we are on our way to the gym right now, and we are going to be talking about whether or not it is worth the money to get a gym membership. And then we will also be discussing ways you can save if you decide that it is not worth it to have a gym membership. So I gotta get on my disguise here, because that's what this thing's for, right? Um, and then when we're there, we're also going to be talking about some hidden gems about how you can get into the gym for free. So be sure to stick around for the end and hit like on this video if you enjoy the content. Having a gym membership is expensive, but it can be worth it if you're using it enough. If you aren't using it, then it is not worth the expense. So how can you calculate if going to the gym is worth it for you? One way is based on how healthy you feel, but the other is cost-wise. The best way I have found is to take the monthly cost and divide it by how many days a month you are willing to go or are going. That will show you the cost per visit. You then have to be the judge if the price is worth it. The more you go, the lower the cost per visit. For instance, I go about five times a week and it costs $72 a month for myself and my husband. Let's say that we went 20 times in a month. 72 divided by 20 equals $3.60 or $1.80 per person. Now I can determine if I am willing to pay $1.80 per visit to have access to the gym equipment. My personal answer is yes because I'm getting use out of it enough to offset the cost. Let's say I didn't use the gym as often and I only went two times a month. That would make the price $36 per visit or $18 per person. That is not worth it to me. All that to say, a way to save money is to cancel your gym membership if you aren't actually going enough times in a month or do not start a gym membership if you think that you're not going to be going to the gym enough times a month. If you decide it is not worth it to get a gym membership or keep a gym membership, there are other ways to work out that don't involve machines and weights. Try going for a walk or a run around your neighborhood. Do some push-ups, sit-ups, planks, squats, and jumping jacks in your own living room. Dance games on Xbox Connect or similar gaming system is also a fun way to get in some exercise. Or simply listening to music and dancing around your house. I like to do that while cleaning my house. It's good exercise, it's fun, and my house is clean in the end. You can get just as awesome of a workout from following a YouTube fitness routine from home as you can from the gym. The trick here lies in your dedication to stick to a new routine as a home environment often encourages laziness and snacking. I am speaking from my own experience, and if my tummy could talk, it would tell you how much regret I have from good intentions gone wrong. So if you need a gym or a trainer to keep you accountable, but you don't have the funds available in your budget, then I have a couple of hidden secrets for you. Sometimes gyms will offer free passes to volunteers. My gym is offering a free family pass to someone who volunteers to watch children at the gym for three hours every week. Or they offer a free single pass for providing daycare for three hours every other week. If you have the time to volunteer, then you don't have to add it to your budget at all. You get the motivation and access to the equipment without the added financial burden. If you don't have the time to volunteer, there is one last way that you can make it to the gym for free. If you know a friend who has a gym membership, they oftentimes have guest passes. They can get you in for free, but it will only be for a limited time. If you're looking for the occasional workout or wanting to try out the gym before purchasing a membership, this is a great way to get started. The one disclaimer I have to add is that guest passes are not available at every gym right now because of COVID rules. So have your friend check in with their gym first to make sure they can still use their guest passes before you plan your trip together. Today, I did get in a good workout, but please don't judge me for my small weights and my slow pace because I kind of fell off of exercising for a while. But in summary, there are ways to get a gym membership for free, and it never hurts to ask the front desk if they have any discounts that you can use. If the gym isn't right for you, there are plenty of other options like watching YouTube workouts, going for a walk, playing an interactive dance game, or even joining a local free or cheap workout class that is provided by your school district or city. Just remember that if you do purchase a gym membership, that you add it to your budget. 
make sure to include any sneaky sign-up fees and early cancellation fees into your calculations. So since you stuck around this long, I wanted to add one more bonus tip for you. A lot of gyms right now are actually waiving sign-up fees and cancellation fees due to COVID. So sometimes you have to ask for it and other times they just give it to you automatically, but there's no harm in asking if that gym provides that for you. Thank you so much for watching this content. If you enjoyed it, be sure to show it some love by hitting that thumbs up button and leave me a comment down below. Let me know which one of these tips has surprised you or if there's anything else that I missed that helped you save money at a gym. I'm sure the whole Broke Buddy community would appreciate hearing more about that and I would love to know more as well. And so be sure to join my community by hitting subscribe and the bell icon so you can get notified the next time I come out with a video and I will see you next time. I would love for you to do something. I don't know. <laughs> I screwed up.